All right. Gods, who do you have for the series? Just disregard the draft for game one. Um, that's weird, because I've been in Sweden, like, around the the Thunderbirds guys, Team Odd. They're pretty confident. They've been boot camping. But still, it's VP, you know? Or we'll give VP a 2-1 advantage in this series. All right. Is this the game for, for Digital uh, Chaos, Thunderbirds, Planet Odd? Is this the game? I'm going to say no. I think they're a bit too greedy with Tinker, Lone Druid, Bristle. VP is very good at the early game and punishing drafts that need too much farm. So I think VP, VP for game one. Yeah, the thing I'm really worried about for Odd is not only is it a tricore that needs a ton of farm, you've got Coddle who also wants to farm, and you have Nyx who needs a lot of levels to be relevant as a support. So like they just they do not have that hero to go around creating space. Meanwhile, for VP, you've got. Bane and Io, both of whom are great at rotating, obviously benefit from levels, but can do a lot without them. Ooh. So yeah, I, I agree. I'm, I'm not loving the greed from Odd, but if they somehow can make it work early, they're obviously in fantastic shape later on. Troll to the offlane, potentially. At least he's up in that area for now. Ramsey's holding on to his goal. I was like, Where, where's your regen, buddy? <laughs> Tango and Salve being purchased. So... He does get scouted by Ward, so if he's going to go to the offlane, this is something Timod will be wary of fairly early on. Whether or not they're going to be bothered by this is maybe another matter. Let's see how the lanes develop. Do you see some camps being blocked here on the southern side of the map, at least for now? And Moon will be assuming control of the bristle as Pasha will end up getting the bottom lane. So it seems like they just don't want to dodge this troll versus bristle coddle matchup. Yeah. Most likely advisable. Yeah, I think that bottom lane is going to be a tough, annoying lane to deal with. And top lane, you're like, oh, it's a lone druid. Even if coddle goes up there with a lone druid, there's not great synergy between these heroes. Uh, so you, you'd rather like 3v3 against that lane than go like 3v2 against the coddle bristle. Just give Magnus a 1v1. He's not going to beat a bristle, but he can at least get some farm. Uh, we'll get his key levels. Just doesn't. Just needs to not die, and Magnus can at least hold his own in this one v one. Yeah, they show a three top, but then they actually send three mid. And interesting. We will be under some early pressure here. Granted, Io not great against Tinker at this stage. <laughs> yeah. Very so squishy. The courier with the salve on it is kind of not able to go mid. Bane's looking for those courier snipes, but not really able to find anything immediately. It's Misery's Nyx Assassin doing some pulls, and the idea here is when you're doing this defensive trial lane, you want to not just have all three heroes leeching SP, you want to try and maximize your efficiency, use those pulls, and deny farm away from Ramsey's on the troll as much as possible. Actually, it was Ramsey's who got a bounty rune, so that's quite nice for him. Pretty calm start here for both teams. Uh, do you see... Moon having a very easy lane against Pasha. He's going yep. for the early points in Shockwave. Sometimes you like see that Empower being leveled up in a 1v1, but uh, I think he knows he's just going to get bullied by Moon and he's yeah. ready to stand back and just get what CS he can. He'll get all the, the free stick charges too. He actually gets Skewer too, so maybe looking for that Skewer into tower play. But Moon should be well aware of this. One of those annoying playmaking offlaners who probably goes for these kind of plays themselves. Yes, exciting things are happening, apparently, yeah, uh, in the, the Navi we're game. We're having guys. this calm, peaceful opening, and then I, I just hear Owen losing his shit. Obnoxious douchebag Pixel just yeah. screaming his head off. Please, Owen, we're having a chill little yeah, Dota this, game over we're, here. We're sipping wine and enjoying some fine cheese. He's having Jack and Coke back there. <laughs> he's a I think he's just bogan. having straight shots of vodka. He's <laughs> imbibing in the, the local drinks. No. no. I'm sure Navi is back, judging by that pure excitement in his voice. So, yeah, as, as this game develops, we'll see mid lane being pretty handily won by Death Robert. No one is styling on Weeha. Holy is cow. this how the lane is supposed to go? I mean, he did get uh, a tiny bit of early pressure from that move, but they didn't stay. They, they quickly showed themselves tough, yeah. so it was only like maybe one wave that was affected. Yeah, Bane was just off the map more than anything. I, it shouldn't be this one side, I'd say. Laser should at least secure you a bit more in CS, but... No one is, in my mind, probably one of the best mechanical mid players other than like Sumail. I think he might even be number two in the world. So, tough.
tough laning matchup there in terms of player. And I mean, Death Prophet is very strong in lane too. And sometimes that little early help can make a big difference as she is going to jump on Weeha here. The pressure comes out. Actually going for the curly kill, I do believe. Wants to stick around. Weeha, gotta be careful, my friend. Oh, he Oof. is playing with fire. That Crypt Swarm does a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Level He's... two. It would have been close. I think one, maybe two more auto attacks. He would have gone for yeah. that for sure, but... He had about 160 health when he got at his lowest, and the Crypt Swarm does 150 before reduction, so it would have been at least... Probably two more right clicks to get the kill with a Crypt Swarm. Yeah, definitely could have dove the tower for at least one, so yeah. it was close. But either way, he gets bullied off the lane 23 and 8. The denies are streaming in. Normally, Tinker is pretty damn good in 1v1s because of the blind from the laser, but I suppose you blind him and then he just spirit siphons you anyway, and you kind of have to back. See how the rune control goes now with both mid lanes having a bottle. Uh, runes could be crucial here. No one actually picked up the two-minute rune. That was kind of at a stage where neither mid want to leave their lane, but four-minute runes is exactly what no one has his eyes on. Spamming out the lane, trying to make sure he can get it. No one committing on this tower. He wants to go for the Weeha kill. He's going to force the TP. He dives and almost gets him with the Crypt Swarm. Very fortunately for Wee, the rune is bottom. Otherwise, it would have just been a complete lost fight, and he'd have to go back. He... We'll scoop up the bounty, and now he's going to head south for the Invisor, and so oh, lane salvaged by Runelock. That's sweet. Five bottle charges. You can even get seven if you wanted to go steal another bounty rune, but he doesn't want to miss too much from mid lane, so... Yeah, fortunate to get a rune. Otherwise, it would have been back to base and then TP back in. But is uh, a lot expended there from no one on the Death Prophet. He's actually now in an awkward position. He's waiting probably for the five-minute shrine. Uh, before he can really do too much in this lane. Uh, Solo setting up here on Soxa. Man, he is a squishy fella with the hexes. Ramses will secure it in VP. Their laning prowess, their early game up-tempo play on full display here. The one here on Planet Auto is having a fantastic time is Moon on the bottom lane. 31 and 1, but hey, Magnus in a 1v1 against a Bristle, still getting good farm. Pasha's at 21 CS, so... Even that's not really that big of a win. It's just a, a clear victory in these lanes yep. for VP now. All three lanes. I, I would say, yeah, Pasha's not technically winning, but holding your own like this it is winning in a way. Yep. This is, I mean, yeah, for a 1v1 mag versus Bristle, this is very good for him. He's going to have to go back to base now. Bristleback had a shrine. Pasha does not unless he wants to go to the mid lane, which it looks like he will. He'll probably shrine up with no one's death profit. This is going to be... Uh, yeah, they'll make the work. most of it here. No one's going to get the benefits as well. Oh yeah, Io Shrining. Get that mm, super extra regen. Juicy. Never run full HP mana and back to farming VP. This is kind of classic VP. We talk about them being like an early game aggressive team, but they don't go aggressive for kills. They're very much like, let's dominate our lanes in terms of CS, and then around 10 to 15 minutes, they group up, start taking towers, fight around their like first key items and levels, like their level sixes and this is like a pretty classic VP opener where, well, I'm not really caring about getting too many kills, but they'll quickly kind of accelerate the tempo of this game once they get their level sixes. Oh, a bit of frustration here as Misery is unable to keep this rune in planet odd control. God, that is like the, the worst name to cast. We got to come up with a better name, Gods. Team Odd is what Rezo said, but me and Slacks like to call them Team Poo since it's P-O, P is planet odd. So Team Poo rolls off the tongue, you know? But uh, Rezo, Rezo didn't like that one too much. No? Well, what did he say? He said yeah, he was Team Odd. So, Team Odd's okay, you know. Works alright. Can but. they just join another org? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, you've been in three in the last month. I What's mean, a just, four? Just do one more, please. <laughs> uh -oh. Trouble in the bottom lane now as Pasha will RP to start this off. Good pushback, and Ramsey's here. They know they need big commitment to bring this oh. Bristle down, and VP tag team them just right, but the trade is an IO. The ball goes pop. Still pretty happy with that. Nice move, knowing that you can kill the one hero that's farming the best in the laning stage with that rotation. And Troll doesn't mind TPing bottom because he TPs bottom, gets a kill, and then immediately takes over the lane. Magnus oh TPs top. Oh, we. He's in trouble now. Brain saps there, getting the old sucky sucky from no one. Kill secured. Misery arriving, but with the ghosts here. Misery has to be careful. They might actually turn this on him with the ghost, the carapace. Not enough damage. Misery gets styled on Lil. Lives with the bottle charge, and even one socks a two. 
Illuminate off the mark. There's the tether back. They're sticking around, and they're, they want to go on Sox, so they want to go on him. <laughs> He's really got to respect this death prophet. No oh respect God. from He's God. so close to ghosts. He's oh, ghost. Those two ghosts were like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, they just got outplayed so hard. That is... No one is such an incredible player, and we, we see it there. Pushes his hero to the limits, get the, gets those kills, and... Oh, Shrine Dodo with the IO. They are making the most of this. Yep. No death prop for that one, but no one's back in the jungle, finding some bounty runes, and... And Moon, he's going to pay for this tower. Eats the Brain Sap. Ramsey's going to drop as well. That's yep. two deaths for the Bristle. Sure, he gets the tower, but he immediately pays the Piper. Yep. No one teeping in from close proximity, but he wanted to make sure he could get there to secure the kill, and that is concerning for Team Odd. We've got Rezo farming away in the top lane. Has going to be going for the Midas. I think the standard Lone Druid build seems to be this Midas Radiance nowadays. So you've got a Tinker who's struggling and is going BOTs. You've got a Lone Druid who's going Midas into Radiance, most likely, and you've got a Bristle who's died twice and will be looking to farm big Ancient stacks. Will they have the time, even a Keeper of the Light, who wants to be farming the jungle ideally at this stage, or constantly parked in the lane, are they going to be given that time by VP gods? Because I feel like they need a lot of time, they need a lot of space, and I'm, you just know VP loves to dive. They see Misery yep. mid, and in they go. They're even going for the Blink Rush on Magnus, it looks like, before Arcane Boots. So they're going to be ready to initiate, catch the Tinker, before he even has Boots to travel. Like, 1,500 gold on Magnus, he's not far from Blink. I, it's it's this style of Dota is tough to pull off in this patch. That is for sure, and especially yeah. against VP. We I mean, saw it a bit with Liquid in that game three. You get too greedy, and you're against a team that's taking objectives, pressuring you. It's gonna often backfire, and and Moon might even die here. Solo chasing him out with the support of Lily's gonna put him to sleep. Take a nap, my friend, and he dies as well. Another Can death for Moon. That's the three. Tinker? They might even go into We Hire. This is a carry Bane or what? Solo's got the level three Bane Sap. Brain Sap, I should say. And Misery, well, hit a stun, but not a whole lot else. Illuminate off the mark. Planet On are just completely under siege right now. These are their supports, mind you. Yeah, but you they're... really wouldn't know it, by the way. They're playing. They just got all four bounty runes as well. Lil's kind of, st he's just styling on them with how aggressive he's playing. It's actually fantastic to watch. You want to pick a Tricore with a Keeper of the Light in a Nyx 5 position? Well, we're happy to punch that. Lil can TP home now, yep. He's out of there, no kill. Odd have found absolutely nothing. Apart from that one early game IO pick off at the top lane, they are struggling to find openings this game. Meanwhile, core items progressing elsewhere. Pasha closes in on a blink. You see the more traditional Yule Scepter being built up now by no one. And oh, for the troll Vlad. So VP about to get a, a nice bevy of items that should let them take bigger team fights with the mag, transition into Roche or Towers Yep. with the Vlads and just a, a more difficult to kill Death Prophet. Yeah, Magnus already or almost maxed out his Empower, so they've got a lot of good bonus damage to play around. They're very strong once they get this Vlad. And so. now Relocate's going to debut. Um, oh, nice roll though, Rezo. Rezo able to get away. Yep. But VP looks like just gonna go back to farming. Yeah, perhaps you waited like for the Magnus to skewer skewer RP in, let him initiate before the relocate. But ultimately, not the didn't end of the it, world. Didn't have the blink yet, unfortunately. So yeah. a bit more difficult to take that fight. But hey, relocates a long, a low cooldown, and it'll be up in just about a minute. And they just go right back to farming. So planet odd. Let's see. Where? How are they looking? The Vanguard coming for Moon, but the deaths have definitely slowed it down. BOT still not online for Weeha, let alone like that next item. You really want the Blink. The Relic is a long way off resolution. It feels like, gods, if they were just allowed to farm without really any pressure, it would be like a good five to eight minutes before they're ready to yeah. fight, or I can at least stall the game more effectively. Ideally for them, they want to get Nyx level like six or seven with Arcane Boots around when Tinker gets Boots to travel, because that's when the play start happening. You have Nyx, Vendetta around, find a pickoff, Vendetta, Impale, Tinker TP's in, easy kills. That's the, the general premise, but the problem is that's gonna they're going to get those items around the time where VP are five men. VP are actually five men now. They're all down the bottom lane. They're ready to fight. And they're going to hold the RP here. Good Blink Skewer sets it up. Soxa, yep. man down, and immediately under the tower. Solo wants to Possibly take his wrath out on it. Possibly two towers here, too. They don't even have to ulti the first one. They can save it for the second. And you have to be careful about split pushing because they have relocate, and their towers are up. Oh, yeah, so. good point. 
Watch yourself if you're Rezo. Last time he got a really good Savage Roar. Better position on the relocate. And that might not be happening. No one comes in first. Misery trying to spring the trap. But now the plus two advantage with the Saki Saki on resolution. The Savage Roar is decent, but a Bash is going to say no. Doesn't even need it. Actually, the damage for Ramsey is simply too overwhelming. All the while, they're about to come back in the bottom side of the map. They have RP. I don't know if you want to take this fight either. If you're odd, they might try for it. But the Bristleback gets... Put low, the quills are stacking up though. The AoE damage from Odd could be enough to turn this fight around. Moon limps away on 50 HP, he'll survive. They do manage to get the Bane kill. That's it though, Lil. Well, he'll be the next. And maybe okay. more. No one low. He wants those ghosts to come back soon. Posh was even in trouble. Gets hit by the Impale. Odd scrapping a great fight together with the Rockets. They'll make it three. They almost got four. For a second there, guys, it looked like they were going to lose four, but things swing back their oh. way. They defend top lane, and I think that's a scenario where they're going to look back and be like, we should have just committed bottom lane. They could have taken two towers, traded for probably the top tier one. They just wanted to really kill this Rezo Lone Druid. They recognize that now, right now this game, the biggest issue for them is going to be Lone Druid getting a good Radiance timing, so they try to shut him down. Problem was, the fight that happened bottom, they didn't have numbers. They... The Io was in a tough spot when he relocated back bottom. He's like, do I bring the Death Prophet or the Troll? I can only choose one of them. I think Troll, if he had a tower to TP there, it would have been fine. But he needed to TP to the Shrine to get back to that fight. So maybe if he TPs to the Shrine while they relocate Death Prophet back in, could have had a 5v5. But Troll just stuck it out top. And and big window, because now Weeha has the Boots of Travel. So his split yep. push improves pretty substantially. Uh, on top of that, Vanguard is up on Moon, not dying there, definitely assisted him, and to round things out, the Relic is getting closer, about 1,900 gold on Rezo, so halfway to it. I just bought a lot of time. With the BOTs on Tinker, like, uh, that next push, you, you mentioned going for two towers, much more difficult when you're fighting into the level four march, and Tinker being able to more easily apply it to defend the lane, so... Huh? It is a kind of cascade effect in favor of Odd after that engagement. And bought enough time to get their key items up to at least stand a fighting chance. And Bristleback is proven to be a pretty strong frontline. We saw his damage up in that bottom fight. He was not the target to go on that over that RP commitment. With the, they gripped an RP'd Moon and still couldn't kill him. Oh, uh, Moon's They're in danger try it again. now. He does get grip, but don't actually, know about this. they yes. don't want to commit. They have the exorcism. They could have gone with that, but... Not wanting to fight into the march. They will take the tower successfully. Meanwhile, Misery scurries away. Just giving them the vision they need to sustain this push. And all the while, Resolution in the jungle. The pace of the game gods very slow right now. VP not taking too many towers. Not able to force too many fights. Not engaging when Exorcism is ready. This yep. is exactly what Odd won. Yeah, I think they're trying to catch the bristle back with the grip. If he's facing forward and they time it just right, they can kill him. But both bottom lane and that mid lane grip, he managed to turn his back just as the grip was coming in. So not possible to kill him through that damage reduction. And for VP, I definitely agree with you. It does feel like they need to try and force things a bit now. They're going to have a hood on Death Prophet. Gives a nice bit of extra survivability to her. I mean, they have an Empower Troll. You know, Magnus is going for Midas. How well does VP transition late? We've talked a lot about Odd having a greedy draft, having tons of heroes that need farm, they're slow to come online, but like, if you're VP, it's... are you okay taking it late against them? Yeah, it's like Magnus Troll, you can always go... Oh, nice scan, by the way. Yeah. Completely caught out Weeha, that's a big pick. Yep, nice kill. And that's gonna be the name of the game, finding good RPs, even just to solo kill these cores, but... Yeah, I mean, late game's fine. You've got Magnus Troll. It's just going to come down to execution in the late game. I don't think either team hands down wins the late game. Team Odd have very annoying heroes to verse with the Tinker Spam, the Lone Druid Bear split pushing, Nyx finding pickoffs, but... Solo's in trouble. He knows he has to relocate, so he's playing a little more aggressively, but a good start to the fight by Misery. They maybe hope to just force the relocate out there. It's not going to happen, though. Ramsey stands his ground. He mows through this tower, though. It is denied by Moon. Nice little grab for him. Starts to move on to Ramsey. It's not going to commit too hard, though. But they didn't drop the Exorcism, so they, they got that tower without it. Potentially thinking about a Roche? Yeah, they could hide off. Troll, very good at helping them get it. Magnus doesn't have RP, so I think they'll at least want to wait that cooldown, yeah. yeah. So, see where that, that ends them up. See here, the IO buffs in play. 
That extra health mana drain, allowing him to get some more heals going. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you're sounding like Lumi. You know, it's... Def it, it definitely hurts the hero in the mid for late game, but there's a lot of scenarios where it's it, it's beneficial. Mm -hmm. I like that optimism, though, guys. That's what makes you such a, a wonderful human being. So you mentioned Roche, and it does look like positioning around the Roche pit has begun. Ward sentries, mostly from the Radiant team. They've got two sentries trying to de-ward the area. And they are trying to secure late game at the same time. They've got Midas coming up for Magnus. We talked about maybe a Shadow Blade being a key item. Well, there's a lot of items Magnus may want this game, and if he wants to get Shadow Blade, Four Star, BKB, Refresher, he's going to need a, a Midas along the way to, to get all these items. Uh, just trying to stall here, and well, Relic has been picked up. The POT yeah. is on Tinker, we already mentioned. Blink closing in on that. Bristle still staying in the middle of the pack, so. It's going fine for Odd right now. In fact, leading on net worth. Yeah. That's the timing. You get this Radiance on your bear. Tinker can then boot to travel onto the bear as well when you're chasing people down. It's very hard to fight into. Recall BP, bottom. BP kind of being forced to play Odd's game, and much to their liking. They could set up a no one. He does have a hood right now. Not the easiest kill, and he's going to dodge the Illuminate from the trees. He senses mischief. And he will successfully retreat. Meanwhile, Ramsey's... Lurking top wants to set up, but there is an observer ward here for the dire, so they know something's up. And they will retreat to safety. But again, just not not that many kills. All of these ten kills virtually came much earlier in the game. Yep, and they're buying a lot of time. See how VP go as far as late game Dota goes. For the most part, they're a team that only pretty good with their initiations and late game decision making. May have. Let them down a bit in that Kiev Grand Final, but as a whole, they are a team that understands when to fight and what items to get and how to play late game Dota very well. I think their lineup, um, you know, in terms of like a raw just firepower department, matches up quite well. Where the Spirit Bear, no matter how much farm you give it, is against massive physical damage from Troll as well as the Blind. Yeah, like it often just feels underwhelming. And Death Prophet obviously scales quite hard, so... Yep. I, I'm not convinced the Lone Druid will be as high impact later on, but... We'll see. For now, VP gonna usher this Spirit Bear away. Well, they want a little bonus for this Verosha, and they'll get it. 300 Golden Experience collected in addition to the Aegis. And now might be the opportunity to begin the Siege. Or at least the more aggressive push, but... Odd are split pushing nicely. Yeah, that Spirit Siphon working very well against the Bay of Ramses. Yeah, he's trying to bottom. man up against Moon here. Blinding Light is going to make things more difficult. He could have help coming. There's a relocate ready. Perhaps baiting Moon in a bit farther than he would like. And now the rotations begin. The Spirit Bear arrives. The entire, really, zoo of heroes all arrive at this bottom lane. And Odd, after toying a bit with VP, pulling their strings, will just set some wards down and look to retreat. I believe they want to respect this RP here, but... With the vision, it's one of those things where you've got a ward there and often it ma makes you want to fight because you've got... You can see so much. You've got two wards in this area. This is Radiance very well Illuminate controlled. Illuminate Rocket Spam. It's a lot of just yeah. chip damage over time. Odd might be able to win this War of Attrition if VP aren't careful. And, well, they don't have the Exorcism, so... You can see the lines being drawn by Misery. Once that top lane shoved out, while well, they continue to stay parked bottom. And the team will oblige. Send the beer over to the top lane, but keep... The main squad still in the neighborhood. And of course, Weeha can always get involved. So, applying pressure on multiple fronts and trying to outmaneuver VP. May get tough to hang around this bottom lane now they've lost that cliff ward to the west of that bottom tier 2 tower. So, they can't get that easy rocket spam off. But they are still lingering. And it does look like VP are just happy to let this tower go. They've got heroes elsewhere. Relocate threat is there. But there's three heroes not defending this bottom lane. So... You have to start rotating and teeping in at least one of them if they want to fight. I do like how Odd has a very clear like game plan. The shot calling is well defined for the team. I'm sure maybe some sloppy deaths earlier, but the strategy you can see it unfold. Yep. Like they are they are on the same page. They're not just running around the map at random. They have a very clear overall approach to this it's game. So hard to stop this siege. Oh, commit a fiend script. They are going for the TPN from There's no follow up. The Tinker and Moon just shrugs it off. That was a 
baiting Fiend's Grip, I guess, hoping someone went in, but Solo, whoa, luckily for him, does not get hit by the Impale. Mm. Will barely survive. Well done there, dodging the but rockets from the Tinker, but Odd takes the tower. This is very obnoxious, This the way this push works. You have the Bristle on the front lines, even more so than the Bear, because you don't care if your Bristle gets enfeebled, nightmared, gripped, because he hasn't died. The Bear is actually more important than the Bristle to like keep away from spells. So the, the Bear is positioned further back, the Tinker lays down March. There's no way you want to engage into like double March of the Machines there, so VP just have to let it go and farm elsewhere. Wait till they get like a BKB on Troll to fight it. They go Diffusal first. I want to say Ramses needs a BKB as his next item though. Oh, both Solo's out in front. He's the vanguard of this push. The RP comes through and it's going to connect on the Spirit Bear and the Bristle back. That is a tough duo to bring down. Meanwhile, Weeha just continues to layer in the rockets from behind. They have lost their Keeper of the Light. Solo will eventually drop and now they get onto Moon with the, uh, with the Ghost coming as well. Moon's taking heavy damage here. The Troll chases forward. For now, VP getting the upper hand the in this root. particular battle in the root. Oh, Weeha could be devastating. Moon, not dead yet, though. Shh, the Squill's keeping him a bit too difficult for the troll to deal with. And Ramsey's just to back away. They now go into the Spirit Bear, though. He's going to it down with the Purge, and it is not available yeah. for a minute and a half. But they had to commit the Exorcism, the RP for that. They did lose the Bane. Even the Locate got thrown in. Still overall, I think, good fight for VP. You know, they... They take that first team fight with the Aegis and come out on top. They kill the bear twice. Uh, they manage to get a kill in there as well on the support. Like it's a support for support for an while well you use your Aegis and getting some bears is overall like an okay gain for them. I'm setting up for misery on the bottom side of the map. Reinforcements arriving in the form of Weeha. Misery will blink his way out. The one thing that VP are really lacking is a silver edge versus bristle. Basically essential and. Well, Ramsey's is going to be Let's building towards one, one so yeah. still no BKB guts, but it will be a great way to take him down much more quickly yeah. in these upcoming fights. He's Moon's always in these, what would no, be, if there any other hero you'd say, oh, Moon's out of position, but because he's a bristleback, he just runs past the tower, turns his back on the enemy team and starts right-clicking the tower, so you can't really go on him because it's his passive blocking all the damage, but Silver Edge will mean you can actually punish that play with a grip Silver Edge initiation. So I do like this call from It's not going to be hard to get the Silver Edge proc off with the way Moon's playing, though. That's yeah. for damn sure. See how they adjust when that item comes out. But Vision will start to play to Team Odd's advantage. They're going to have an Ag soon on Keeper of the Light. Saksa managing to get some good farm for himself. The, a lot of the farm difference between the two teams is the supports, really. You look where Bane is. The constant sentries and warding has really crippled both Solo and Lil's item progression, whereas Coddle and Nyx have items aplenty. Blink on a support Nyx, Ags on a Coddle. You're happy if you're a support on Team Odd's side. Yeah, having the Tinker, the Lone Druid Radiance means these lanes are usually pushing and uh, the camps are a lot easier to farm. Also can set up for some nice kills. There's Misery again on the hunt, trying to play in the Treant Protector style of support. Yep. Looking to scout out VP wherever he can. But want to consider a gem here soon. Yeah, it sounds like a decent idea. Someone like Magnus could easily carry it. They want to get a Shadow Blade first, but... Zero will just TP himself out. Gets all the info for his team. He's not really looking for pickoffs. Yeah, Tinker's Boots of Travel could theoretically come in on like to a TP on a bear, but more than anything, he just wants to scatter any potential smokes and make sure that Team Odd know what VP uh -oh. are up to. Solo? Oh, with Ramsey's there, Weeha will think better of that TP. There's the Axe from Cottle. So Vision, not just from the Nyx, but now from this Cottle Axe. It's going to be pretty pretty nice to play around and see how Team Odd make this ne this next move of theirs work. They are smoked up. Moon in the front with a Lotus Orb. The Spirit Bear, meanwhile, getting horribly massacred. You cruel troll. Uh, he might pay for it, though. Oh, misery. No, he misses on the tail. And now... This is the RP, RP not ideal for either team, really. No one comes in from behind quietly. We'll kill Gandalf. This is just vile butchery by yeah. VP as they now turn back for the bristle back. The relocate is going to take the troll away for the fight, unfortunately. And that might make the difference here for Moon, who continues to run away. No one taking a beating. Not sure that Lil should have disengaged Ramsey's like that. Instead, Bristleback gonna survive. No one says, screw it, man, I'm going in on this one. Can he finish him off? He will manage to do so. 
So it works out okay in the end for VP. They get the Bristleback kill that they worked so damn hard for. They're not Misery. done yet. Misery with Blake on cooldown. One second to go. And he will blink up and away. No one's still in the chase, though. Has incredible move speed to get out of this. It seems he shall. Oh. Bit of a flub there with the relocate out. But similarly, we're seeing Misery having a tough time landing some of these stuns. Not an easy spell to land when these heroes are pretty damn fast. Like, we saw Death Prophet over 400 movement speed with the phase at the end there. Just juking and jiving around those impales, and... It's gonna be tough for Team Odd to take a fight. They need to find a way to burst down this Death Prophet, ideally, to negate that exorcism damage, and the troll being relocated out almost provided them that opportunity, but... Misery just couldn't quite land the Vendetta Impale. Solo's hunting for kills here. He's gonna find Resolution, sleeps the bear, turns back for the hero, and man, does he drop fast. Ramsey's almost able to finish him off. One more auto attack gets the job done. And it, it is perhaps a sign of what is to come, gods. A lone druid versus an empowered troll is just not gonna be able to take man fights later on. Yeah. A late game, yeah, with the empower on troll, and for the shadow blade now to find pickoffs for you is very strong for VP. They're gonna have full map control. Roche is back up if they want to go for that soon, but... Uh, forget but about dead, yeah. VP say, let's take Rax. Okay. <laughs> Straight down mid. On the moon, he gets gripped. They're gonna go for this one. Man, look at the damage from Ramsey's. The blinding light saves him for now, but a beautiful skewer by Pasha drags him back, kills him off. He doesn't have buyback. Ramsey's, however, will fall. That's a dominating streak ended for him, and now no one being pursued out by Misery. Silence there, dust committed. VP disengage. So, a bit of an overextension, but still overall getting a Lone Druid and a Bristle. Losing a Troll for that is a net win for VP. Yep. Not bad. They got the Tower too, but overall you don't really want your Troll dying there at the end. Like, dying to kill that Bristle is not really ideal when he's the top net worth hero. Bit of a unnecessary dive. Doesn't have, if he had a BKB, it's one thing, but he's itemizing different direction. The Silver Edge, of course, is going to be great, but see what he can get done and for odd it really feels like they're playing for the long game we've got nyx going for an act speaking of which caught oh, out nice trap here set for misery sentry ward does lil have the dust i think that was his last pack earlier but solo coming in he's dropped the sentry as well blinding light pushes misery back towards safety mm, they aren't gonna be able to find him even the carapace stun allows for the disengage it's feeling like gem time yep. hard because like they don't have that easy stun initiator i mean magnus with an ulti, but you're not going to do that for like a support Nyx. Yeah. Maybe well, a skewer, I guess more dust is instead the call. Yeah. Eventually, you'll likely see one on a gem on Pasha, though. See when and where that happens for a VP. Does oh, someone? Nice little trap being set here by Solo, and now he unleashes it again. The unsuspecting Keeper of the Light is the victim. He even had the anti tinker sentry, <laughs> but they yeah. didn't have the uh, anti bane in the trees ward. Nicely played. Tinker's going to still TP back there, but he knows the, the fight and the attention has been taken towards the Roche pit. Got to like this smooth maneuver by VP straight towards the Roshan pit. They're going to kill it extremely fast. You've got like maybe 10 seconds at most. No, not with that level of damage. The rock will drop. Aegis and she is collected. And now they oh, find a little nice. bonus prize. It's a Tinker with no buyback. Oh, Pasha, very well played. Oh, goodness gracious. And set up by the wards. So. Yeah. Good stuff from VP again. Odd. Uh, it's not feeling like they have late game gods. It's really not. This bear is uh, more of a timing hero. You don't want to hit this Radiance timing and then avoid fights and play keep away. You kind of want to go, go, go with it. But Tinker has been playing catch up for quite a quite a while this game. Bristle, Bristle is, is going to become much yeah. more easily dealt with. Silver Edge is coming in about yep. 50 gold. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to feel like VP just straight up might have the late game, barring a incredible execution and fights from odd. Fed four spirit bears this game, LD. That poor bear. Mm. Ugly stuff. And they've been spread around nicely. This is a very communist level of feed coming from Mr. Resolution. Well, this game continues to go for the worst for Weehouse Tinker. Another death, 2-4-2. Two, and two. He has not been particularly effective. And with an Aegis in hand on this troll, a good frontliner to have. Do imagine high ground could be in the near future for VP. 
Mm, they crack open the dust. Oh, Pasha. Was having a fish, but not quite there in time. Meanwhile, bottom lane, no one has been scout out. Remember, he's got cheese, though. He does have his ult ready as well. He's going to self-hood to start things off. Now they he's come right fine. back to the bottom lane. Oh, it's a trap indeed. Moon walks right into the waiting arms of that silver hedge, and he doesn't even TP out. Well, Ramses makes a chopping time, yeah. and they're looking for more. Solo might even catch another straggler on the way out. Make it a tier two off of this. Without the exorcism, probably can't get high ground all too soon, but yeah. I, I don't know about that. These That's, This troll hits hard. Yeah, troll may do it out alone, they, yeah. They might just go for it anyway. Drew or at that. least force out a buyback, but Bristol doesn't have one, Gods. Yeah, troll's just gonna like jump on the high ground. Has to be a little bit not worried about Tinker lasers, but Tinker himself can't get all too close, and without an Axe Scepter, it's hard to get that easy laser blind onto enemies. Getting to work. The Savage Roar will slow things down for now. Not actually empowered as of yet. That would have helped. Pasha finally will deliver that bonus damage. And no one's going to TP away. So they're not ready to go high ground just yet. Not fully, but they get some good chip. And they, I think, are showing more and more that they, they can afford to wait, at least for now. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to play against like all of Odd's cores having six, seven items. But that's not happening anytime soon. No, they're getting constantly picked off and gang tinkered. Just 13k net worth after his subsequent deaths. Learned your, you're not really too afraid of his bear at this point. You're just demolishing his spirit bear anytime it comes out. Not a hero that's going to scale well into the late game. And even though Team Odd have this vision from the Cuddle Lags, they haven't been able to really use it because they they fall short in team fight. You have all this vision. You see the mag, you see the death prophet, but these heroes are going to destroy you if you go on them. They're too tanky, too hard to kill, and an RP or an exorcism or just a troll with an Aegis is going to overwhelm you. Or a Kemi Katsuro. Wants that courier. Not gonna happen this time. This troll hunting though. He's charging towards Moon, who gets pulled away to safer pastures. Ooh. And that just opens the way to go down mid. So Ramsey says, well, the buildings can't run for me anyway. Recall those. Try that trick on for size. And it's not a trick they have at their disposal. Decent RP comes back, pile driving. Weeha in, and he absolutely explodes. Deleted from the fight, out for 50. Nobody can stop Ramses. This man is simply too big. Turns back with the grip and the bristle facing him. Moon will melt. GG, well played, but honestly, Odd could have farmed for another 30 minutes, and VP might have still had it. Jesus, they hit yeah. hard. They just were so good all throughout that mid game, finding a lot of good pickoffs. Pasha's Magnus was on point. I'm, I'm like starting to wonder like where was the point in the game where Odd should have actually been stronger because their laning stage they clearly weren't going to win. They had no one who could control the tempo. Like you have a five mm. position Nyx running around. You've got three cores that need farm. A keeper that wants to send the jungle. And it seems like late game Troll Magnus with the supporting cast can just run them over anyway. VP just got a lot out of their supports. Lil's IO was incredibly active. 4-2 and 14 he ends the game. Like that is... A very, very dark.